same. So click on one script and now you see we are in the scripts folder of our 3ds max version and here's the HLA cam importer click on it and on open and you see this lovely dialogue and if you want to know more click on manual and you can read what's the 90 degree fix and so on so at first we have to define the path for the cam file of course and that was HLA etude and here's the camp file. Open it. 90 degree fix is OK. Field of view, we use the default value in Counter-Strike and that's 90 degree. If you use other um, FOVs, change it here. And now we can click on load and import. So the importer is ready, you see our cameras here, also here and here, and that's all to, uh, that's all how to import the camera, so very easy with that uh, small script, and now we have to add our map. So I have several tools for importing the map in 3ds Max, the first tool is the hammer editor the WinBSP C and I also have the FBX converter and I've copied the DE underline dust 2 BSP file uh, the map from Counter-Strike copied in my folder I have here a folder named 3D text hut toot and um, you can unpack the file from your GCF file with the tool GCF scape and now we want to convert this BSP file into a map file. So we start WinBSPC and we can now convert the file by clicking on open. And now we get this dialog. We want to convert to map and the rest is OK. No output folder, so our current folder is the output and that's OK. Yes. And he's converting the map. And you see we get the map file. So next step in the way how to import is to start the hammer editor. And of course you have to set up some options. I also have. First you have to add your what files for the textures. We don't need the build programs because we don't want um, create maps. We only want to use this tool for conversion, but very important is uh, configuration, and I've created a CS configuration and added the CS Expert Tom FGD file you can download on CS Expert. Also, we want to use what half left GC and so on. That's not necessary. So. Now click on open and we won't open the map file we converted. Yes, we get some errors anyway. Open. So you see it's now the map and we can now export the file to the DXF file format. Yes, click on save and we get this DXF file. Now we can import this DF DXF file in 3ds Max, but this needs a lot of time. So we convert this format into an FBX with the FBX converter. Now 
and that doesn't take so much time like if we have if we import the dxf file so click on it dxf file and now we use the oldest one mb 5.5 fbx 5.3 and that's all okay and we click on convert he's converting one from one of one file and the converting is done null error logs created that's nice and we can close this and now get back to 3ds max so we have our camera here and now we have to import the map so i change the folder and also the format and you see dxf and fbx we want to use the fbx file click on open we want merge the scene because we have already seen with camera and we want merge now the map the fbx and click on ok and now it's time for waiting a little bit he's creating the max node you see that for every object so that's it we get this massive block and hmm, looks not very good but I think it's enough for our animation. Now we can change the perspective to our cam. And let's see, maybe we see something. And we see, hmm, not perfect because this box, for example, is the start point. And of course we have to de delete that. So click on it, and click on it, click on it, click on it, click on it. So it's looking a little bit better. Yes, it's okay. Going further. Mm. Not very nice. Delete, 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 delete. delete. And of course, delete and delete. So I hope that was all enough. Hmm. Delete. That's all. I hope. Yes, looks all okay. So now you see it fits all together. The cam with the map. We don't have textures on it. For that, we have to use Wally, -E, not the movie, the program, W A L L, and and mm, you know it. Uh, with that, you can export the textures and also adding this. But for the current tutorial, we don't need the textures. We only want create and 3D text glowing in the 3D in the CS map and so that's enough so now the creative part we create some very interesting text parts so we began